Uh, so, um, if you don't know who is uh, Keep Shelly in Athens, this is one of my favorite grooves from them. There's some of my playlists. So, um, they are Greek, and I, I don't know if it's brother sister, you know, or like fake brother and sister or boyfriend girlfriend or something like that. Anyways, she's got a great voice. I love a lot of that uh, dream pop from uh, like mid 2000s to you know later 2000 teens. Um, what was it? Let me turn this down. This head. Somebody was asking about. Oh, that was the other thing. Um, well, I I put together a, a playlist of videos. Uh, on the YouTube channel. So if you want to just click on something, I mean, you're going to hear a shit ton of ads, but unless you have YouTube red, but um, that's, that's a, a very tiny fraction of uh, all the songs I have on my playlist. I've been, I really like music. <laughs> you think, um, what was it? Uh, somebody had asked about um, LMT and LMS by TC sounds. So, um, it was first called LMT, which is Linear Motor Technology, and then later it was called Linear Motor System because technically you, you do need the proper motor, uh, I should say top plate thickness, in order to make it more effective. And what Tilo's research showed was that a thinner top plate, uh, of course it's relative depending on how much excursion there is and uh, the sweet spot that you pick. Um, I think I have two coils left. Uh, it's the four inch LMS, uh, what is it called? LMS Ultra. So I had these made by PE and they are really fucking expensive. I think my cost on them was like 175 each. There's the part number if you want to get them made up. So I charge probably like $200 each, but I, I usually just want to include them in as a top assembly for a LMS Ultra. So, but the, uh, the technology is that as the, the coil moves through the gap, it loses um, BL when it gets to the end of the excursion. And so what Tilo did was he put uh, more wire on the top and bottom, more windings to sort of compensate for that. Um, two things that you compromise with that is that um, it's now limited to that excursion. When you do a nonlinear coil, which is mean it's all the same wind height, you can really just make it poke out and that really shows up when you do a split gap like Dan Wiggins uh, of a dyer, his uh, XBL technology. And I'll talk more about that as well. The, the other compromise that it makes. Okay, so one compromise is that it limits excursion, especially on the LMSR. It limits it to two inches. So using a large spider, anything larger than eight inch uh, is a waste. Um, and so in Tilo's marketing uh, capacity, he used the... Um, LA storm frame, which uses a 10 inch spider, but it's unnecessary, but you can get away with it because the, the coil actually controls itself. Um, not that it makes it more linear, but it does, but, um, it stops itself from going because it, uh, it's, it's, um, uh, it's just the way that the coil behaves. Uh, but that's LMS and LMT in a nutshell. And then also there's a huge compromise in total BL product. That's the other compromise. And I, I had made notes about that um, this is a, a non-linear coil, which is the eight layer, uh, TC sounds coil, um, insane BL, uh, 480 Newton meters or something like that over 400 Newton meters, uh, squared, uh, per one watt. Right. And that fucker can take, you know, five, six kilowatts, seven kilowatts. Um, so, but as a LMS driver, LMS, it uses, it has only 180, uh, Tesla meter squared, uh, at one watt. So a huge compromise and BL strength meaning punch attack, uh, which is what a lot of people desire when buying a thousand dollar sub. Uh, uh, but you get linear, meaning it's not going to be distorted. But if you use a nonlinear coil within this parameter, it's very linear and it sounds great. So that's LMS versus LMT. And then I'll do a plus and minus video for, uh, XBL as well. Cause, uh, it seems like Andrew is making a good comeback for the Adair brand, but I want to not that I want to warn you guys, but just, you know, just know what you're paying for. 